Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create this dancing girl Instagram trend in After Effects easily. I'll also show you how to add realistic shadows and reflections. Let's get started. First let's drag and drop the dancing girl video into the timeline. You can download this video from the link in the description below. To remove the black background, apply the color range effect to the video. Select the eyedropper tool with the plus, and simply click on the black background to remove it. Now we can start tracking the video and adding the shadow and reflection. First toggle off the dancing clip so we can clear Clearly see the original footage. Before you begin tracking, make sure your video is stabilized and locked for smoother and more accurate results. If your video has heavy camera shakes or looks jittery, apply the warp stabilizer effect first. But in my case, the video was shot using a gimbal, so it doesn't need any stabilization. I'll simply scroll to the beginning and click on stabilize motion. I'll be stabilizing and locking onto the wheel, so let's make the track point slightly larger and place it right at the center of the wheel. I'll also adjust the track point size. The inner box defines the feature area, the specific details detail After Effects will try to track. The outer box defines the search area, the region where After Effects will look for that feature in the next frame. Once everything is set, click Options. Make sure RGB is selected, then enable Adapt feature on every frame and click OK. Now click the Track Forward button and wait for it to finish analyzing. When it's done, click Apply, then hit OK. You can now close the tracker window since we no longer need it. Now make sure the layer is selected and press S on your keyboard. We'll need to scale the video to remove the black edges. I'll set the scale to 120. Next enable the proportional grid. This will help us see the exact center of the screen and make it easier to align the wheel accurately. Once the wheel is perfectly centered, check the video to make sure it's fully stabilized and locked on. In my case everything looks great. Now let's pre-compose the layer so we can start tracking the video and make our girl dance next to the car. But first I'll disable the proportional grid since we no longer need it. Now let's click track camera and wait for it to finish analyzing. Once it's done, I'll select a few points right here, then right click and choose create solid and camera. It looks a bit to the left, so I'll slightly move the solid to the right to center it in the video. Now everything looks good. We can now move the dancing video above the track solid layer and toggle it on. Next enable 3D on the layer. To make sure our girl is perfectly tracked, select the track solid layer, press P to reveal the position property, and copy it. Then toggle off the track solid layer, select the dancing girl layer, and paste the position onto it. Quickly adjust the size of the girl, then reposition and rotate her so she fits the scene perfectly. Let's preview to make sure she's tracked correctly. Everything looks great. Now we can add her shadows and reflection on the car, and we're done. Let's start with the shadow. Duplicate the dancing girl layer. Select the bottom layer and rename it shadow to keep things organized. Next adjust the Y position down and rotate her to match the angle of the surface. Make sure the shadow fits naturally in the scene and is perfectly aligned with the girl. Once the position, rotation, and scale are correct, apply the fill effect to the shadow layer. Under the fill effect, change the color to black. Reduce the opacity to around 30%, or adjust it to whatever looks natural. Next apply the Gaussian blur effect and increase the blurriness until the shadow looks realistic. Once that's done, preview the video to check the result. Everything looks great, now we can add the reflection. Start by duplicating the original clip and select the bottom layer. Rename it Reflection. Next drag the Z position farther from the camera until the girl appears on the car. You can also adjust the X and Y positions, as well as rotation or scale, to make it fit perfectly. Once you're happy with the placement, click toggle switches slash modes. Change the reflection layer's blending mode to overlay. Press T on your keyboard and set the opacity to 40%. Then apply the Gaussian blur effect to the reflection layer and increase the blurriness slightly for a natural look. Let's preview the video once more. Everything looks good, but the reflection is appearing all over the car, you can see it on the wheel too, which doesn't look realistic. No worries, we can fix this. Scroll to the beginning of the layer and temporarily toggle off the original girl layer. Make sure the reflection layer is selected, then grab the ellipse tool and create a mask over the wheel, or any object where you don't want the reflection to appear. Once the mask is in place, track it to ensure it perfectly follows the wheel throughout the video. But first, change the mask mode to subtract to invert the mask, since the girl is currently reflected on the wheel. Once that's done, press M on your keyboard and click the mask path stopwatch to add a keyframe. Then go frame by frame and adjust the mask to keep it perfectly aligned. Once you're done, preview the video one more time, everything should look even better. For the final touch, press F on your keyboard and set the mask feather to 5 to smooth it out. Finally toggle on the original dancing girl layer, and we're done. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.